For those of you familiar with the GOG cast or have watched me stream on Mixer, you have for sure heard my old chair. I purchased old Betsy at least 10 years ago, and not really sure the exact date, and it's seen a lot of life. It's been to five different homes, and it's moved from Montreal to Newfoundland and back again. It's been chewed on by Bowie in his puppy face, and I have to use an old pillow for arch support. But the biggest issue with old Betsy is the squeak you hear every time I move. You hear it in the podcast. You can hear it on my stream. Mike can even hear it while he's recording the sneaker podcast in the kitchen across the condo. After living through an ergonomics appointment at work, having a specialist set up my work desk to best serve my body, I knew it was time. Time to retire old Betsy and find a new place to park my tush. After hearing my cry for help, and by cry, I mean the constant in the podcast recording, The fine folks at Clutch Chairs sent over two of their gaming chairs for Catherine and I to test out. Their chairs are said to be designed for ergonomics of everyday use, and they looked pretty darn slick on the site. Catherine and I both went through the size guide to see which would best fit our body types. I ended up selecting the Gear Series Alpha Blue, matches my blue Air Force, and Catherine chose the Crank Series Delta Black to complement her bright green office space. It wasn't an easy decision, as Clutch Chairs' website has tons of different models and colorways for you to choose from. There are also branded chairs from the WWE and other internet celebrity-inspired seats. We also love the fact that the company is 100% Canadian-owned and operated. It's nice to support a local business. The chairs showed up at our doors in a timely fashion. Catherine was lucky that Pascal was home at the time of delivery so that he could let the shippers cart the large box up into the apartment. Since I was at work, I had to send Mike on a quest to get the large box from UPS. Oh man, it's a large box. Mike just got it in the trunk of our Mazda 3, and it takes two people to carry it. Once in the house, we immediately got to building. Putting together a clutch chair is not hard and takes about 20 minutes, but it definitely requires two people. I mean, you could do it alone, but I'm pretty well going to guarantee that you'll damage your chair or your home in the process. Luckily, I had Mike and my brother-in-law in the house at the time to help me with my chair, and I helped Catherine and Pascal assemble Kat's chair. The chair is packed very well to protect all the pieces inside the box. It comes with everything you need to assemble a chair, including an Allen key and a few bolts. I had one snafu when assembling mine. Two of the decorative bolts that go into the base would not fit. No worries, I will jerry-rig them. The final product looks like ripping a racing seat right out of the high-end sports car. The leather material is very smooth and comfortable to sit on. It resists fingerprints fairly well, not dog licks though. Catherine finds the leather a little warm and we'll have to wait and see in the summertime if you'll sweat while you're sitting. The stitching is tight and even. The colors are almost dead on the replication of the images on the website and the color tone throughout is even and bright. The chair has some serious weight to it, and I believe that's why it's so well balanced when you angle the back into its almost flat position. Yeah, you could easily sleep in this chair. The wheels glide nicely on the floor. The top of the armrests feature a nice textured plastic and have buttons so that you can rotate and brace them to best suit your comfort. Catherine is uncertain as to the durability of these buttons as hers feel looser than mine. Maybe over time they will falter, but only time will tell. There's a handle on the right-hand side of the back of the chair that lets you change the pitch of the back. You can sit super straight, or like I mentioned before, set it to almost parallel with the floor. Like most chairs of this nature, there are hydraulics that permit you to raise and lower the chair to suit your comfort, and you can change the rigidness of the seat to permit a bit of rocking or none at all. Then comes my favorite part, the lumbar support. I'm a very curvy girl and I need a little cushion to support my back. The support cushion that comes with the Gear Series Alpha is perfect for me, but it can be easily removed so Mike can take it out when he uses the chair to record music. Catherine also mentioned that she is not a fan of the lumbar support either and removed it from her setup. The head pillow is also removable, but I love it and don't plan on taking it off ever. Holy cow, how have I lived before a proper gaming chair? I have to say that it is like night and day upgrading from the old one to this awesome clutch chair. I've been sitting in this chair for two weeks now and I never want to leave. You do need to take the time and work with the settings, getting it to feel right for just how you like to sit. But once you have everything set just right, 
you'll want to keep your butt in this chair forever. And Simon's going to be really happy that he never has to edit a chair squeak out of the podcast again. <laughs>